Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okutaya of JSA, here at ITW 2019. Joining me today, Mr. Dan Flatt, he's the Director of Marketing for Mercu. Tell us a little bit about Mercu. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, so Mercu, we are a proudly Canadian company. Uh, we are our, our special ingredient is uh, mesh Wi-Fi router system. So we have our DNA in uh, the Waterloo tech ecosystem where BlackBerry was born. And actually our chief scientist was uh, one of the original engineers at BlackBerry. So we know how to do antennas and transceivers, the, you know, the building blocks of mesh Wi-Fi systems really, really well. And that's been one of our, our main advantages in the market. Oh, I love that. And I know you're very proud to be Canadian, but you also are global and operate in so many countries. Tell us more. Yeah, so we actually have our products in about 47 different countries right now. Uh, we've been able to accomplish that both by di uh, selling directly to consumers. We had a, a, um, a crowdfunded model launched directly to consumers last year with, uh, with our, our current generation product. Uh, but we've also had uh, the opportunity to work with a lot of partners around the world, uh, internet service providers. And and, and other carriers, uh, so they're able to provide our products directly to their uh, clients and, and in countries like Australia, Benelux, uh, Israel, and, and others. Wow. And I'm so impressed by this vantage point that you can bring to the marketplace, this unique perspective. Can you talk for, to us, for example, on what you see in terms of IoT adoption uh, on a global scale? Absolutely. So I think the um, Globally, the, the conversation of, around IoT has really been focused on what it can do for enterprise, for commercial enterprises, um, by making systems more intelligent, creating interconnectivity uh, between these networks so they can be more efficient and save money. But I think that for everyday people, homeowners and end users, they're not really experiencing IoT to the same extent unless it's really coming to them in their homes. And that's why, for us, the conversation around IoT, we're really trying to focus it on the smart home. Yeah, and that's, that's a great point. So your, your end users, your homeowners, how do you define a smart home? Yeah, so smart home, it's become a little bit of a buzzword, um, like, like a lot of industry terms. Um, so, you know, if we can break it down, the home hasn't really evolved beyond uh, you know the four the four walls, uh, maybe sometimes a few other walls, and and, uh, and and the roof above. As much technology as we will pack inside that um, and cohabit with that technology, um, really making the smart home smart uh, is is allowing it to to think in in some ways and even make decisions, and that means implementing IoT into the home, into all the different systems, whether it's water systems, electricity, HVAC, and, and data as well, so that we're able to let the, the home actually have a nervous system, and we're providing the brain for that nervous system with the, uh, our mesh Wi-Fi systems. I, I love that analogy, and I believe I got to chat with him ahead of time, of course, and I believe what you had said to me yesterday was that uh, you have the capacity for up to 60 smart devices in one home. Absolutely, yeah. So um, we can we can expand. Uh, you know, the, the the beauty of mesh Wi-Fi systems is that it's not a one size fit all solution. Uh, we have two different types of units. Uh, queen routers, so you know, we, we use the terminology queens and bees, and we, we call our, our whole system a hive. Uh, so queens can cover about 3,000 square feet, uh, the, the bees uh, can, can cover about 500 square feet. So you can really tailor a system to whatever home you need. Um, and in a lot of countries with different home sizes, different construction of the way um, data uh, signals will permeate through walls that are of reinforced concrete, for example. Uh, we can really tailor the solutions to, to every type of home so that you can connect whether it's just you know your laptop and a tablet or you've got a smart thermostat, you've got a Roomba and all, all of these newfangled uh, wi wireless devices that are connecting to, uh, to Wi-Fi. Yeah, I can't wait till my fridge tells me when my milk's expired and orders me a new one. It's not doing that already? Uh, okay. I know. I'm, I'm behind the times, <laughs> behind the times. And here at ITW, bringing it back home to our fabulous event that we're here at in Atlanta, um, there are so many global ISPs, um, carriers walking the floor. 
How do you work with them? What are your benefits that you bring to the table? Yeah, so uh, you know we've seen the conversation at ITW really shift over the last ten years or so from uh, from voice over to data, and you know, and I think when we walk around and talk to a lot of the companies here. Um, a lot of the focus on data is laying the infrastructure, uh, getting that last mile delivery service. We're really focused on the last few feet, you know, and, and uh, to use an, another analogy, uh, you know, if, if you say that uh, companies are doing a really good job of laying the, the pipes and, and uh, you know, enabling that fire hose mm -hmm. that, that is going to reach every home. We're the sprinkler system that's going to distribute that, uh, you know, the data signal, if data is water, um, to, <laughs> uh, to, to every corner of where it needs to be. And so we're really interested in connecting with carriers, ISPs, anybody who is enabling homes or small businesses uh, with, with data connectivity. Uh, to provide them with the hardware that allows uh, their end users to to fully in enjoy uh, um, connectivity in every corner of their home or building. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure to learn more about your company. This is amazing. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV here at ITW. Happy networking.